We recently announced the integration of ASDIP Foundation with ETAPS, and also we said that new features were under development. This is Javier Encinas, and today we are pleased to announce three new features in ASDIP Foundation. First is the design manager in uh, the spread footing module. Second is the generation of the footing schedule. And third is the export of this footing schedule to Excel. Let's get started. To illustrate these three new features, I have prepared an example where I show three footings, one where the gravity loads are controlling, the second is when wind is controlling, and third is when seismic is controlling. So let's open this gravity controls uh, example in a spread footing module. And this is the template of the ASDIP Foundation spread footing module with this uh, example loads. Basically, I'm modeling here some dead loads and live loads as well, wind and seismic. So basically, we could start modifying the dimension manually here and checking that all these ratios are passing. But this will take some effort and uh, time. Instead, there's a new feature here in the reinforcement tab. This new button at the top has been added that says, let us de design the footing preliminarily, open the design manager. So when we click on this button, this window opens. This is the design manager. Basically here, we need to specify what size of rebar is preferred for this design. For example, if we select number sixes and click on the design button, the program will attempt to design the footing as a square and all these ratios will pass or will be close to pass. So probably you will need to come back here and check here and there and see if everything is passing or if you want to modify something further. So let's click design. And after a few seconds, the design is finished and now all these ratios are passing. We can see here that this ratio is over for my 5%, but the rest of the ratios are passing now. If we go to the Condense tab, we can see here all the calculations in a condensed format. This is the ratio that is not passing, but is close. The rest of the ratios are passing, so you can check all these calculations. If we go to the Detail tab, you can see a more detailed set of calculations, step by step, also grouped by topic. This is the bearing pressure calculations, the sliding uplift, one-way shear calculations, such so the bending calculations here, everything is passing, the punching shear calculations, and the load transfer. Graphically, if we go to the graph tab, you can see the soil bearing pressures. This is the design footing. It's going to be 12 by 12, and the controlling load combination is dead plus live, as expected. We go to the one-way shear tab, we can see here the shear values. In this case, the load combination that is controlling is 1.2 dead plus 1.6 live as expected. It's gravity. For punching, this is the maximum uh, shear stress, and this is the controlling load combination. For bending, these are the moments left and right, top and bottom, for this load combination. This is the interaction diagram for the column section and finally this is the construction sketch of the design footing 12 by 12. We go back to the project manager then now select the wind controls. In this example the loads are quite similar to the previous uh, example but the difference is that the wind loads are higher now so that we are forcing the wind to control. So here again we have some default values that can be changed also some reverse as, as default. All this can be changed manually, but instead we're going to use the new feature, the Design Manager. We click on this button, then let's say that we accept the default number six rebars for this footing. Click Design. And now the program has designed a square footing that passes all these ratios, with this exception, 10% over for the load transfer column bearing. So we can come later and uh, change the reverse for the column so that this ratio will pass. Graphically, we have this column 12 by 12 as well, but in this case, wind is controlling. 
If we go to one way shear, also wind is controlling here. It should be noted that uh, as the foundation identifies the controlling load combination for wind, but also the controlling step in the wind loads. So for bending, this is the load combination as well, including wind. This is the column uh, interaction diagram. And finally, the construction sketch. Let's go back to the project manager. Now let's select seismic controls. Basically the same uh, default footing. We go to the loads. Here the difference is that the seismic loads are now higher. If we go to the reinforcement tab, some default values here, but let's design according to the design manager. So let's click design. And now the program has designed a square footing that the ratios are all passing with this exception here. But again, all these ratios pass and we can come later and uh, check this efficiency here. So the reinforcement now is nine number sixes and uh, the dimensions are 11 by 11 by 16 inches. Graphically, we can see here the final design for this load combination, including earthquake, 11 by 11. Now the one way, also the combination that controls includes earthquake. For punching, similar. Bending design, all the final moments. The column uh, interaction diagram for this load combination. And here is the uh, construction sketches of the final design. As you can see with this new feature, as they can design the footing just with a click of a button, which otherwise would take longer if you go to the different tabs and change manually the dimensions and try to optimize. Let's go back to the project manager. Now that we have these three footings uh, designed and optimized, the question is how do we show it in the drawing? Since we have only three footings, maybe we can show them separately in a drawing. But imagine that you have 20 or 50 or 100 footings in a building. How do you show them? The answer is with a footing schedule. And this is the second uh, feature that we are presenting today. If we go to project, click on footing schedule. As if we present with these headers for the footing schedule. Then if you click on this button, generate a schedule. Then as it generates the footing schedule for you. See, these are the three footings that we design with all the uh, dimensions and the rebars and the notes. We can print preview this footing schedule as well. We look like that. And we can also export this uh, footing schedule to Excel. When we are finished, we just close this view and we go back to the project manager. Now let's import some reactions from an ETAPS file. Project, import from ETAPS. This will open ETAPS. We'll run the project in ETAPS and collect the information. Then we'll close ETAPS. So this represents the 16 footings of the building from ETAPS. If we open one of the footings, the footing will be designed automatically in ASDIP according to the new feature. So when the calculation opens, the footing has been designed according to the new feature of ASDIP Design Manager. As you can see, this feature is very important and it will save a lot of time and effort to the users. If you like the software, please visit the website at www.asdipsoft.com and download the free 15-day trial. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to receive notifications in the future for similar videos. Thank you for your attention.